Minago ya be namakota je macha nakonia tehina. Umbo wash day. Neke, nemia, trisa o watch. Nina daya ake, wichim nagingta. Umba nen wash, um, winchashta ya za hawi. Ish amba nen amba numba. This month, this is today, is the second day of the week, it's so which makes it Tuesday, and it's win chashtao yaza hawi, which means, which translates in Nakoda to sore eye month. Um, I heard a story yesterday about how our ancestors, when this month came along in the snow, like today is a very warm day, when that snow is melting and, and, and it's the brightness off that snow, our ancestors used to take. Um, various maybe bear grease or whatever kind of grease that they had available and they take the charcoal and they'd smash it up together and they'd put it under their eyes to help the ward off the glare when they were hunting. Um, today we're going to do start with our um, review time. Um, you know like in the past our ancestors um, we didn't have clocks back in the day so when they told time, or they told of um, time, they divided the, the day into parts of the day. We had early morning, mid-morning, noon, mid-afternoon, early evening, uh, dusk, night, and midnight. And then when the sun's coming up, dawn. So that's how they um, divided their days. And here are some of the words that, um, that we use for those, those now, like the um, Dakota, we also have a day, uh, um, the word for day. The word for day is abdu, amdu, and that's day. You know how, um, if you listen to Wayne, he'll say, good day, after this, he uses this word. But he's, his is a P, and I don't know why in Dakota, as we say, Amba wash day for a good day. But you can also use this for a good day as well. Abdu, good day, I guess, or Abdu wash day, would what it would be called. Um, that's for the day. Now for our morning, where our morning is called Hayakena, Hayakena. And I'm not saying it right, but I will when I do this here. I will see our, our nasalized um, ha ya kena, ha ya kena, that's a nasalized A. Ha ya kena, our afternoon. Our afternoon is amba. Chogandu, which means um, Chogandu is like straight down, so it would be the afternoon would be straight down the middle of the day, I'm, I'm thinking, is what it's going to translate to. And that's Amba, uh, sorry, Abba Chogandu. Now, um, I'm just giving you the, these times of day and the order that they were given to me. So we're going to go to evening next. Evening. Evening, khtedu. That's that, that um, H with that cap on top of it. Khtedu. Khtay. Oh, sorry, that's a T. Khtay. Ye. Do. Khtedu. See this? That's that. And that's the evening. Now, we're going to go to dusk. Dusk is Hayakenach. Hayakenach. That's that H again. Ha. Ya. Ken. Ach. See? Hayakenach. And that Hayakenach means, um, how do I say this? Hayakena, that's morning. Hayaken, nach, 
It means like the first thing, Hayakenach. Now we have nighttime. You ever hear someone say, ah, Hahebi, that's night. Hahebi. And that, again, that nay is um, nasalized. Ha hebi. Now we have midnight. Remember how this chogandu, I'm saying it straight down. Well, same for midnight, but it's called ha chogandu. And that is straight down beneath you. So I'm guessing that's like for the north, south, east, west, uh, if you notice. South also has sort of the same, but this is ha cho do, and that is the middle of the night or midnight. And then we have dawn. Dawn. Amba u. Amba u. That's dawn. Now we're going to go on to tell you a little bit about Oh, I did that, I guess, the afternoon, that's two. Now we're going to go on to three. We're going to go on to, to um, it says to tell about the time. We're going to talk about the time a little bit. Um, when we talk about time, um, we use <coughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to do this, but this is how I'm going to do this here. Um, I forgot some of the morning stuff that I was going to tell you about. We have some, some, um, some nouns and some adverbs and uh, a couple of verb conjugations that I think I'm going to tell you about before we move on to the time. If you notice um, when we're talking about time here, I'm going to give you some nouns and some verbs that, are, that you'll use often when we're talking about time. Um, one of them, okay, 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 that's again. Uh, okay, Ichanu, do it again, okay. Dona, dona, that is how many, how many. Hangay, hangay, that's half. And um, you, you'll you'll find you'll you'll notice this. Howi, howi, that's your moon. Makayutabi, makayutabi. Remember from last time. Makayutabi. And that is a mile. I'll break that down for you later on, like I did last time, but that is a mile when we're talking about distances. Another word that we're going to use, you'll see a lot of, is Sam, Sam and that is over. Uh, Tachakiutabi, Tachakiutabi. Tachakiutabi. And that is a foot. Not the feet as in siha, but as in 12 inches, the foot. Wana, wana, that's now. Waniedu, uh, waniedu, and you'll notice this waniedu will be used lots when um, they ask you how old you are, and you'll, ah, wani edo, wik jemna num ihaki. I have reached 20 winters. That's when we're talking about time. Um, it, what, it, what it translates to is winter. But when we're talking about time, and you hear this wani edu, when we're talking about time, it'll automatically to you should register as, oh, they're talking about a year. Um, and then the we. 
when we talk about um, we and other other um, what is it in other ways it's the sun but when we're talking about we in the time management the we is a month it means sun but when we're talking about time that is one month now some of the verbs that um, there's two verbs that um, we need to when we're talking about age <clears throat> our verb ihaki ihang see my ihaki and that is he or she has reached, reached a certain age or a certain point in time so it's he or she has reached now um, it's either a certain point or a certain place in time. So they reached a certain point or place or a certain time. And, and, and as, as you can tell when we talk about time, that's what it's going to be. That's what your verb is going to be. Um, I'm just going to write these real quickly down. Ihaki, he or she has reached it. Iha, i. Iha, i. Ihaki, they have reached a certain place, a certain age. I'm sorry, this would, they have reached a certain age. Ihai, they arrived at. They reached it, they arrived at. Now, I don't know why the, the reach and the arrive is different. They have reached a certain point, place, or time again. Certain point, place, or time. And then haska, haska, that's another word when we're talking about um, distance. And distance, this here, this haska will be he or she has reached a certain height. Now, wa, we, he, ye, ye, is time. And like I said, the verb iha, e would be reaching. Iha, wa, e, I have reached it. Iha, ya, e, you have reached it. Iha, e, we have reached it. Iha, ya, e, be, you all reached it. And iha, e, be, they all reached it. When you were, um, these verbs or this verb or verbs is always used in time. Dona, eha, ki, he. Now, when you read this question, you will know that I'm asking you, what time has it reached? When we break down this, this um, sentence here, or this thing, this is how much, how many reached it, and your question marker. And when you see this, dona ihaki ha, that, because of this, is always telling you about time. You know this saying always refer is used in the time sense. This will automatically translate to you. What time is it? And that's what dona ihaki he is. What time is it? Now, when we um, 
when we tell you what time it is, we always put the number first. So I'm going to tell you it's six o'clock. Make sure I spell. Shock pay. Oh no, this might not. Shock pay, iha i. It has reached six o'clock. It is six o'clock. Another one. Uh, Wayne, instead of wanji, wanji iha iha i, wanj. Um, wanja. Wanja iha i. It is one o'clock. Noom iha i. It is two o'clock and so forth. Yamni iha i. Doba iha i. Zapta iha i. Shakpe iha i. One o'clock, two o'clock. See, just the numbers down the, 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 the line. But, now, <clears throat> you notice how the day was divided up into time? Well, when, when, we, when we're telling our time for our clocks as well, we don't have a time for quarter past the hour. We only have time for half past the hour. And that half past the hour, again, we go back to our half, hange. So let's say um, when we're doing the 30 past the hour, like I said, we use a noun, we do the number of hours, let's say, Zapta, uh, Sam, Hange, Hange, sorry, Iha, I. So five over half, it has reached. And this to you, it is, it's 5.30. Age wa ji sam hange iha hi, it is 11.30. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, I did the nouns, so I go to five now. Now we're gonna tell you a little bit of, um, just gonna pass you some, um, some vocabulary. Just some, um, What time is it? I told you that. Dona iha ihe. Dona iha. I'm not saying my a. Iha ihe. Ne? What time is it? Um. Tehan. Tehan. That means to be um. To be late, tehan, and to be late, she has tehan hibishi, and that is to be late or tardy. Tehan hibish. Ah, ah, me chung me chung shi. Ah, amba ah, chedo ah nen hibi tehan hibish. No, my daughter is supposed to come this evening. Oh, she's taking a long time. When we talk about past now, we talk of it's wanagash. You ever you ever hear um you ever hear um ya? That's the past. Wanagash ya. Wanagash a long time ago, ya. It's already gone. So that's the past. 
wanangash ia. Or i hectam. I hectam. And that means, i hectam means that something that's behind you. Something that's already behind you. Now let's do the future. The future, togada ia. Or togadia. There's two ways that you can say that. Togada ia. That's tomorrow in the future. Or togada gia. Togada gia wagana bikt. In the future, we're all going to be old. Except me. <laughs> Recently, ak. I'm going to be fine. Ashkada. Recently. Ashkad do Ashkadu uh, Ashkadu Mehinkna uh, O Tokshu O Pawatu. Recently, my husband bought a truck. <laughs> I don't even have a husband, I said. <laughs> Okay, and now, wana. Now, wana. Wana nida nina im imaduka. Right now, I'm very hungry. Wana nina imaduka. I'm really hungry. Later, agaham. Ahagam, sorry, agaham. Ahagam. Ahagam. And that's later. Ah, ahagam me chungshia hochdachia bio pawatungt. I'm going to buy my niece some coffee later. I'm lying to you, I said. Wanaha. Wanaha. Ne. Uabi ne. No, let's do it this way. Wana. Owakma to. My uh, using t I'm going to use this black marker right now. Wanahe. Wanahe. And that is now. We're going to go on and we're going to talk about distance. If you remember from, I believe it was lesson seven. I could be lying on the lesson. I'm pretty sure it was. We talked about distance. When we talk about distance, we have um, we have words for mile and words for feet, for foot or a foot. Now, when I told you this about um, The, the, the kilometers or the mile and that is a kilometer. Now, if you look at your word We have the Makkah, which is the earth. And then you're going to add on your measurement, which is the Utabi. So that's why you get your miles. They're measuring your, um, your, um, your distance using the earth to measure. One mile of, or one, one, Makuyutabi is one kilogram, kilogram, sorry, kilometer. <laughs> A kilogram, I'm trying to tell you about weight. The same as Tanchankyutabi, which is a foot. That foot, that Tanchan, 
that foot, that's talking about your body. That ta cha, that's your body. See, ta cha, ki yu tabi. And what that is, is your body plus your measurement. So that is talking about the height that you are, the height that your body is. That's your ta cha and your measurement. And when you talk about um, how tall you are or how far uh, places are, we always uh, put the distance or the place that you're talking to first. Um, example, Regina. Who, who, Jubina, how far? Kiyutabi, um, Wikjemna, Shaknoha, and there it is. And that's how you would write Regina is sixty. I'm sorry, Regina is eighty kilometers away. No, 60, sorry. Shaknocha. No, that's 80, yeah? Mm -hmm. See? Regina, miles, Wikjemna, Shoknaha. 10 over 8, that's 80. Regina is 80 kilometers away. See? You always put your, um, your town first. Uh, say, let's, uh, Fort Capel. Okay, I, um, Fort Capel. Ho, oh, uh, not, sorry, Fort Capel. Hokua. Hokua, Miles. Maki, Makuyutabi. Um, how far is um, Fort Capel? Wikjemna Doba, let's say. Fort Capel is 40 kilometers away, or is in 40 kilometers. You always put this and this right behind St. Loda, Sindetang, uh, Tachuya, tachu, uh, sorry, tach, cha, tachakuya, kio, yabi, uh, wikjemna, yamni. St. Loda is 13 miles away. When you're talking about feet, right here, um, you're asking someone, uh, Hokshina ne tachukia ki yutabi. Am I spelling this? Yeah, ki yutabi. There's nothing ki yutabi, I guess, there. Um, I'm asking you, how old is that young man? Hokshina ne. This boy. Hokshina ne tachukia ki yutabi. How tall is that boy? Then you would say, Hokshina ne tachu tacha kiutabi zapta haska. Haska? Where did I put that haska? Oh, I didn't put it on here. I thought I did. Haska. And that is how tall. And what I'm telling you is that boy is five feet tall. Uh, and if I, uh, me, um, Mia, Tachuabi Shakbe Mahaska. I am six feet tall. See, this always goes first when you're talking about the length or the height of yourself. Um, we are ne, Tachuabi. Tachakiutabi doba 
Nehaska. This girl, you are four feet tall. Ta see that feet? This always goes first. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else is there? Lina, see Johnny, no pin. You're both bad. <laughs> oh, Honga. Honga, see Ja. <laughs> That's the distance. <laughs> okay, now where's my other one? Five. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's already done. That's five. And oh, okay, here's my six. That's six there. Now where's my seven? Oh, no. Okay, my seven. Wishma, wishma. Really? Oh, hishma he to be hairy. Hishma, he he's got lots of hair. Yeah. Hishma, siha, sija. Big hairy, bad feet. <laughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> Bad words, say. Eh? Okay, now we're on that six and seven. Oh, okay. Okay, just um, just a couple of words that we have here to uh, to share with you. Here, nen, ne, here, over there, gaki, gaki, winchasta je na naji. Those men are standing over there, uh, far away. Tehandu uh, wati. I live far away. Nen here. Nen cha agan iodangawo. Come and sit on this chair here. Sit on this chair here. Je. Je nan. Those over there. Je. Uh, that ball over there, give it to me. Uh, then, Jen. Hayaken ashten, Jen hochnach yabi odam nat ga inkt. Tomorrow, or in the morning, then I will drink lots of coffee. Uh, This book, this book I have. Um, now we've got a couple of sentences here that um, we're going to go through some of the, um, like I got up early this morning. Hayakena nen, we hinapashten wagikta. Hayakana ne, this morning, we hinapashten, when the sun came up, I got up. So that's how my, my way of saying, I got up early this morning, I got up when the sun was coming up. That's what I tra translated to you. Uh, or I could say, Hayakana nen, estena gikta, I got up early this morning. Hayakana mm. hayakana ne, we hinapa chen wanagikta hochnachia bi odam natka. This morning when the sun came up, I got up and I drank lots of coffee. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. Hahebi nen wikjemna wikjemna. Oh, I didn't write it down. Ihahi chen wamnugin. Okay, just wait that I, I um, slaughtered that. Um, okay, ha hebi nen wik jemna a ha hi shten mashti makt. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to bed at ten o'clock tonight. How do you say lies? I tell myself. 
A... It's not quite ish. <laughs> in Tushi, yeah, in Tushi, it's not quite ish. I don't lie, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to bed early. <laughs> now, um, you know, there's all kind of ways that you can say that. No wrong way of saying it. It is almost five o'clock. Wana estena zapta i hakikt. Wana, now? Soon it is going to be five o'clock. Uh, it is one o'clock now. Wana wa ji i hai. Wana, right now, it's one o'clock. Or wa ji i hai, one o'clock. Um, I have to go to work at 1.30. Uh, Waji Waji Hage Sten One half Sten oh, uh, How did um, Wayne say that work? One cha. Uh, yeah, yeah. One cha Imnakt. At 1.30, I'm going to go to work. Imnakt, I'm going. Mm. Um, let's see, just wait. Give me one second here. Uh, we do han sam. Wo washi nakt. And that one I just said, this afternoon I'm going to work. I didn't say 1.30. I, uh, we do ha, we oda ha some, dinner time passed, that's afternoon. We oda ha some, we woke shu to work, nakt, I'm going. Huh, je ha, je, 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 you hana e pa, chen, wanawa knushta, uh ne ish ake uh owak uh owak owak naga owak naginkta. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm um gonna share a story with you today. Um it's narrated the story is written by Sharon Healy. Um but I'm I'm, I'm gonna share with you. It's a story about Ikdom and it's the Assiniboyan creation story. Ikdom to the Assiniboian people was a legendary character who created the world. He is not to be confused with the great spirit, God, Wakatanga. Iktomi made the waters and the land. He made the heavens. <clears throat> he made the heavens as well as the night and day. He made everything that we see now. After he made all the universe, he made men and he made women. Seven men and seven women he made from the earth. But after he made all these people, he did not want them to multiply and increase on the land that he had made because he felt that the land they were on was not the right place for them. He wanted to find another place. He looked around and hunted but found nothing else. Then he found some large oyster shells. These he floated on the water in a manner of a canoe. He sat in the first one and had the seven people sit in the others. They all paddled for many days in the great water, but feared that they would die because, because of thirst and the hunger. He called together all the fowl of the water that had been following, following them. Brothers and sisters, Iktomni said to the fowl, I am going to select seven amongst you. Those that I select must dive down to the bottom of the water and bring me some mud. All seven fowls that Iktomi selected went down. For seven days and seven nights, the people waited and watched for their return. Finally, on the seventh night, the birds who had gone down began to float to the surface of the water. Iktomni examined the tiny claws and webs of each of the birds.
but found no mud. We have made a mistake, he said, and so we must try again. This time I'm going to select the muskrat, the mink, and the beaver, and the fisher. Now each of you dive down. Don't come back unless... I'm sorry, I lost my place here, darn it. Don't come back unless you can bring me back some mud. So down they went. But at the end of the fourth day, they began to float back up to the top of the surface of the water, just like the fowl had done before. The muskrat came first. Next, the mink. Then the beaver. And lastly, the fisher. All of them, like the birds before them, were dead. But Iktombi looked over their little paws, and to his amazement and joy, he found tiny specks of mud clinging to them. Carefully, he took the mud from each of the animals, and from this mud, he made the land that we now call the, the land that we are now on for his people. Iktomi knew, however, that his people could not survive on the land alone. So he made some large lakes, and there at the edge of the lakes, he put his people. He made all things for them and taught them all the things that they needed to know to survive. He said for them to multiply and increase. He told them to scatter throughout the new lands as they increased. The 14 people were divided into seven ancestors of the seven council fires of the North American Indians. According to the Cinnaboyan legend, Lake Winnipeg was where the great water was the great water where Iktomi told the, it's Indi the Assiniboines to go down, to go up to a mountain and take the four legs, to take four logs. On these logs, he was to build his lodge. Furthermore, on each log, the Indian was told to tie, was told to tie on the corner an eagle plume. The creator assured the Indians that this would pr provide them with food. It was the power of the unknown that saved the Indian. He drifted and floated around the southern part of Mexico. That is where the Indian civilization originated, among the Mayans and the Aztecs. Um, I hope you enjoyed my story. I wanted to share that with you while the snow was still on the ground. Amba washte yuha, akewichim nagingta. Mi nago ya be namakota Namakota je macha Namakota je macha Namakota je macha Yo Mi dago ya be